breaking right now. We are waiting to hear more from Alexandria police after what we're told was a police involved shooting involving a U.S. Marshal. Fox 5 has learned the Marshal's fugitive task force was attempting to arrest a man wanted on several charges. Let's get right to Tisha Lewis live from in Alexandria uh, with more on what exactly is taking place here. Tisha. Well, it's still an active scene behind me. I just got off the phone, actually, with the Talbot County Sheriff's Office to find out more about this suspect. They were unable to release additional information. What we do know, though, is that the suspect was apparently wanted on several charges, as you mentioned, attempted murder, firearms possession, and assault. Again, still a very active scene out here in Alexandria. We are awaiting a news conference. And that was the shooting scene earlier this afternoon. Several rounds of gunfire next door is an AT&T store, and you can see a bullet hole through the window. This is video of the actual shooting. The suspect reportedly tried to get away. Several shots were fired. All of this taking place in a busy shopping plaza off of the heavily traveled Richmond Highway. This all took place around 1.30 this afternoon. We did speak with a witness, though, who says he saw at least half a dozen law enforcement vehicles blocking the suspect who was inside a car trying to get commands to get this, you know, person out, whoever it was, um, you know, drop the gun, get out, show us your hands, everything. And uh, then that whoever was in that vehicle or whatever, they started ramming the, I believe it was the U.S. Marshal who started ramming their vehicles, looked like they were trying to get out. And just like that, they kind of ducked down a little bit and then they just started a bunch of shots kind of ring out. Uh, it's just amazing that this is all taking place in broad daylight in a shopping center. I can't imagine how alarming it was for folks out there. Um, anything else that we know, Tisha, about that suspect? Well, alarming to say the least. We do not know the suspect's condition right at this moment. We do know that no law enforcement members were injured. Also, Alexandria police are leading this investigation. Again, we're standing by for a news conference. We'll bring in those details and information as soon as it's available. We'll check back in with you, Tisha. Thank you so much.